What's up everybody, I'm Mark Six Man, and welcome back to another video. Now this video is about tire shine. If you know anything about car detailing, you know about this magical substance, tire wet foam, or you know, just straight up extreme tire shine from Armor All. These are two cheaper uh, tire shines. And of course, as uh, the title of the product implies, these are meant to be used on your tires. And while they are titled that, and they certainly work great on the tires, they also have a few other use cases that we will talk about today that are great, especially for someone who's trying to detail their car on a budget. Starting off with the basics, obviously we already know tire shine works great on your tires. It shines them up, it makes them look new, and it actually does a lot for the look of the vehicle. Honestly, a lot more than you would expect. So there really are uh, two different types of tire shine here that you will find, you know, on a budget, really. We have stuff like this, which is like a tire foam, and then this is just a straight up tire shine that's like a spray. So the tire foam, what they say to do in the direct is just to spray it on your tire and leave it there and it'll basically handle the rest for you. And of course, this one, you have to rub it in. I really like to abrasively rub it both in. I think it works better. So starting with tire foam, we're just gonna spray it on here. In like a line, I'm gonna do half and half for each one. I did get a little bit of overspray on my wheel there, but that's not really a big issue. But then what I like to do is just sort of rub it around like this. And you can see that's already made a pretty big difference. And of course, tire shine also helps protect your tires over the long run, prevents them from cracking, at least around this side of them. It's not gonna help cracking on the other side because you can spray that side. And taking a look at the microfiber here, it also makes them less dirty, it cleans them. And on the other side here, I'm just gonna spray a little bit around the tire like this. As you can see, this one's not really a foam. It's a little bit more difficult to spray than like the foamy stuff because the foam really does spread itself out. But I think the foam does cost a little bit more money. And honestly, comparing these two, they both seem to work similarly well. As you guys can see, here is a wheel that has not been tire shined. And here is the wheel that has been tire shined. There's definitely a pretty big difference in the way that it looks on the vehicle. But I'm sure most of you guys already knew that tire shine works great on your tires. But let's talk about what tire shine is also really good at and how it can save you a lot of money because you don't need to buy products because it does the same job as other products. Tire shine can sometimes also be used on plastics, believe it or not. Now, it really does depend on what the back of the bottle says. For example, this one says not to use on clear plastics, but it doesn't say anything about plastics that aren't clear, like this trim plastic I have. And I have used this on this trim plastic before. It's already pretty shiny, and that's shiny um, because I've used it many times. But this bottom piece of trim on my car, it's not a clear plastic, and it shines up well with tire shine. Always look at the back of the bottle of your tire shine, though, Make sure you don't get one that can't be used on any plastics at all. I don't know if they're out there. I don't know if you can use them on all plastics, but I want to avoid getting it on the paint. That's kind of just a no-no in general. You already have wax on there, hopefully. So I'm gonna spray it onto the microfiber first, and then when it's already on the microfiber, I'm just gonna rub it across my trim piece here. And it's also gonna clean up your trim piece too if it's a little bit dirty. Give it another once over here. And honestly, it has a really significant effect on the look of the vehicle, being able to shine something up like this. It really makes it look nice and detailed. Yeah, there you go. You can really see the shine in there, honestly. Taking a step back, I'd say I'm pretty happy with those results. But those really aren't the only trim pieces that I've used this on. For example, on this car, all this plastic that you see right here goes under the mirror too as well. I've used tire shine on this, of course, avoiding spraying it on the paint. You wouldn't want to spray it on the paint. And then there's also all of this rubber as well. The rubber I'll talk about in a second, but I'm going to just do this trim piece really quick to show you guys the difference. But yeah guys, looking at the difference here, you can see it really does reflect the light a lot better like this, which of course means it's more shiny. And yeah, overall, I th honestly think it just looks a lot better. So like I said earlier, you can also use this on your other trim pieces. But the reason I'm differentiating this is because these are rubber trim pieces, so they're actually more similar to your tires than let's say a plastic one. Tire shine works by taking off a small layer of rubber, so I'm not sure how good this is for all trim pieces. And I'm just putting out a disclaimer on this one, I really don't know what will happen in every single circumstance. So again, I spray it onto my microfiber, and I just sort of rub it across the trim piece like so. 
can go up and around like this and shine up the top as well. And here you guys can see the trim is all shined up. You can also see on the back side here, nice and shiny. So everyone, we have tackled the exterior of the vehicle now, but now everyone, we are going to pop the hood and see what we can do under the hood. And honestly, under the hood is my favorite place to use tire shine, just because it works so well under that dirty hood. Well, everybody, here we are under the hood of my Mark VI GTI. Honestly, this engine bay is already pretty clean. If you saw my last two videos, I did a ton of work on this thing, which means I cleaned up a lot of the actual engine itself, the metal parts like the aluminum head. But under the hood of a lot of modern vehicles, such as this one, we can see a lot of plastic and rubber pieces. And since this is under the hood, you can be a little bit less careful about them. But we do have plastic headlights here, which you want to be careful to avoid. All right, everyone, I'm going to get to work cleaning things off. I'm gonna start with this big rubber trim piece all the way in the back here. And that already looks so much better, honestly. Now I'm gonna move on to the battery case. Now on to the case for the fuse box. Looking nice and shiny. Now we're gonna move on to some things that are actually on the engine. Some tire shines uh, might say that they are flammable, especially the ones that come in the cans that are like a foam. I would not use any of that stuff on top of the engine like this, but there is no flame warning or anything like that on the Armor All tire shine that I have, so I'm going to use it on my actual engine stuff. So I'm gonna use it on the crankcase here, which is just a plastic piece. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my intake. Now I'm going to move on to a few of these hoses and the intake manifold itself. And yeah, I would say so far everything is looking uh, a lot more clean and shiny here. There's also a few things on the side that you can't see, like all this plastic and metal here. It doesn't really work too great on the metal, but all this plastic over here, it's always worked really, really well on, honestly. Again, be careful of those clear headlights. And there we have it, just like that. Things are looking very, very clean under the hood here. And all without buying any extra fancy products, just using a product that most of you will have lying around at home, which is, of course, Tire Shine. Now I'd like to move on to discussing the final thing you can really touch up, which is your interior. Now there really isn't much that I would do in the interior. I don't like to mess around with interior stuff like that with outdoor products. I'm sure you could use it for some things, but I really haven't messed around with it too much. However, there is one big thing that you can adjust in your interior, and that is rubber floor mats. Now rubber floor mats, well they're made of rubber and they get disgusting because your feet touch them all the time. All right, so here we have our rubber floor mat. Now this one, sometimes I actually do use the foaming tire shine on and it's not anything that's going to get too hot and it's just rubber. I've done this many times. Floor mats are supposed to be durable. I'm not really too worried about ruining the floor mats with a different kind of tire shine. So yeah, I usually just sort of spray it down like this. So yeah, you can just kind of let it sit for a bit. And after letting it sit for a little while, you can start sort of rubbing it in like this. The foam tire shine really is meant to just be sprayed on and not wiped off, so it works better for floor mats, honestly, especially ones like this with these weird honeycomb-like designs. And there you have it, everyone. After the foam has dissolved, you can see that the tire shine really does work wonders on rubber floor mats. This is honestly one of the ones that shines up the best, absolutely, out of any of the stuff that you can tire shine. So yes, everyone, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Will you be using uh, the methods that I've shown you today or will you not be using them? I understand if you wouldn't want to and would want to just stick to professional products and not try to find other uses for them. But in this video, I did find all the labels on the back of the bottle. So as far as I'm concerned, they're working pretty decently. The only other issue that I think that people will run into using these products is maybe on some of the exterior trim pieces. After a few rain washes or maybe even one rain wash, all of the tire shine will come off and it won't be as shiny as it was. Of course, because it's not made to stick to plastic trim pieces like that, even if it does 
shine them up pretty well. Obviously, the reason that I am showing you guys all these methods with the tire shine is most of you are gonna have tire shine already at your house. And if you look at the back of the label and it's like mine, you can use them on all your exterior trim pieces and some of the stuff under the hood. And you don't have to buy separate uh, expensive dressings, detailing dressings and stuff like that for those things. Even if those detailing dressings might work a little bit better and they might last longer, they are going to be extra bottles and extra things that you have to buy. So if you're trying to ball on a budget, this might be, you know, the best option. And for me, it has been the best option for a couple years now. I've just been using this. I used it on this GTI in my last car, so. But yes, everybody, I am Mark6 Mad. Thank you so much for watching my video. And uh, check out a few of my other videos. Like this video if you like the tips that I've shown you. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.